Iowa State and Fremont County investigators are laying the groundwork for a serial killer investigation. A woman is claiming that as a child, her father forced her to help dispose of bodies on land he owned west of Tabor, Iowa. Alex McClune has our coverage. We are actively investigating this, and who wouldn't? Fremont County Sheriff Kevin Astrope says deputies have been in touch with Donald Studi's daughter for the past year. She alleges her dad, who's been dead since 2013, killed 50 to 70 people over three decades, according to Newsweek. Lucy Studi did not return our calls Monday. All we have is a woman came forward and told us a story about bodies and a well. The sheriff says the scene off Green Hollow Road is not a crime scene because officials haven't found bodies or bones, only hits from cadaver dogs. We did bring a couple cadaver dogs. Cadaver dogs looked in there and, uh, or, you know, looked around the area, and they did indicate in the area. I'm not going to say it was right over the well or where, but they did indicate in the area. The sheriff says Donald Studi and his family are not tied to this property off Green Hollow Road anymore. A woman inside didn't answer our questions and asked us to leave Monday. The FBI and Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation are also investigating with Fremont County. It asked us to assist with the investigation as well as the FBI, and, and we're, we're happy to do so, you know, and try to provide manpower and resources. Officials will search the identified Lost Hills area with other cadaver dogs and tools like metal detectors and ground penetrating radar in the coming weeks to prove or disprove allegations of mostly sex workers and transients from Omaha buried underground. It's a big mission for a small county. And according to Sheriff Astrope, the rumor of the man killing multiple people has been around for years.